The man always needs and has to lead. At all times. At all times. So I can't lead in no situation ever. Of course not. No. Nothing. No. Wait a minute. Before we get started with this episode, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell notification. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get to it. And we're back. back with another episode of Drink Water, Water Eat, Eat Fruit, Fruit Podcast. Podcast. Yes. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I feel good. How you feeling? I feel excellent. Do you really? Yeah. Uh, what do you think I'm just saying that? Oh no, you look excellent. So do you. You look really handsome tonight. You look very pretty. This evening? This morning? This evening? This afternoon? Yeah. So, so, <laughs> what are we going to talk about today or this evening? I want to talk about something very, very particular that I hear a lot of people saying. I want to talk about like being submissive, leading, and all that type of stuff. What are your okay. thoughts on being submissive? Because I hear a lot of women say I'm not going to be submissive, so I don't know where you're trying to go with this. Well, I'm not going to be submissive, so I don't know where you're trying to go with this. You're a lady, though. So what that means, I have to be submissive. But, yes. The man always needs and has to lead. At all times. At all times. So I can't lead in no situation ever. Of course not. No. Nothing. No. I mean, if I, like, yeah, certain little things or something, I don't know. Like, you can lead yourself into the kitchen and clean up or something. Or cook. And you can lead yourself well. In the kitchen and... Eat. Eat. <laughs> Once everything's done. No. Like, that is insane. Like, I, and I've heard a lot of women say if the right man comes along, she will let them. I don't, I don't, they don't oh, sit to them. So, it's a certain man that they'll let lead them? I, yeah, that's what a lot of women say. Well, in our comments, everybody thinks that you're leading me. And my comments, oh, everybody. How is that? How are you leading me? How you, there? in my comments, everybody think you leading me. For real? Yeah. I will never see that. Because you don't be in my comments. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So they really be saying that? No. Right, exactly. They say that I should. Why where does that come from though? I don't know where that come from. I don't even know if the I the man is strong and powerful. Right. My dad called the other day. What? My dad called the other day and he was like, Thank Mark for leading you and the man is the head. I'm like, yeah. first of all, ain't nobody no head of me. I'm the head of myself. And he was like, Yes, you more. I'm like he right here. I guess he thought I was going to agree with him. Right. Like, no, nah, we don't even, like, we're not, we're not knocking nobody else how they do in their relationships, but I just like to yeah, talk about I mean, about some of y'all need to be led. <laughs> it's a fact. The way these comments, the way y'all be thinking and talking, y'all need somebody that has a little common sense to lead you. But I don't think in light, like, no. I mean, we already have another podcast where we, the 50-50 mm -hmm. situation, and I think that comes along with that, too. It kind of goes hand Maybe in hand. Yeah, it kind of is like the same thing. So if you know already that we go 50-50, and it's not always 50, but it's just that's the mentality and yeah. the mindset that we have, mm -hmm. that we we all, we all both of us bring things to the table. We both have conversations and discuss everything. There's nothing, you know, because there's times that I'll be thinking one thing, and then once I hear her out, I'll, I'll be like, oh, wow, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that does make more sense to do that, you know. So, and it works both ways. It's not like Our so. Men. What do you? Yeah. So the women out there that have men to lead them. So you have life situations where you feel strongly about one thing, but no, he's the man, and he said no, do it this way. Right. So you just bow down to that. I don't That's see how that is borderline crazy. Right. That's I insanity. Like. I that's, think. that's very much insanity. Like it's bowing. Basically it's bowing down. Right. And it's not even like it's saying in a relationship, y'all should be submissive to each other. It's like specifically in a relationship, a woman has to submit yeah. to a man. And that means that even I look, you look up the words submit. Like, honestly, like you have right. to submit. That's bowing down. That, exactly. Bowing down. Just, I watch UFC when they submit that that's tapping out. That's basically saying you got it. It's all you. You got it. You win. 
And it's like, what if the, what if he's better? What if I'm better in certain departments than he's not? What if he's better? I feel right. like we both submit to each other. I mean, it, it ain't even about it. Ain't, it ain't even, even submitting. submitting. It ain't even submitting. It's we compromising, and then we discuss it, and then yeah, sometimes we both agree the same way, where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is perfect. <laughs> we this situation has to be right if we both think this way. But then there's times, like I said, where it's, sometimes I don't agree, and then he'll break something down. And I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. But if something don't make sense, I'm not going to be like, okay, right. you're the man, you're right. No. And I may say some stuff that makes sense. And he don't agree with it. But then when I break it down, he like, okay, yeah, you're right. It ain't, we have equal respect for each other. That's how it's supposed to be in a relationship. Because right. when you got to submit to somebody, that means that that person is less than you. That person is more than you. If you got to submit to that person, then you're less than. And it shouldn't be like that in a relationship. Right. Because if that's the case... <laughs> That's basically just saying that what men are smarter than you? women. Is that what women, the women that are going to be in the comments? Well, I submit to my man and blah, 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 blah. Like, cause everything was passed down. You don't, all it takes is like, just think about every situation. Like just mm -hmm. think about it before you just go with it. Just because that's what you taught. Your parents did it. Their parents did it. every generation before you did it. Right. And everybody now the norm that's the thing that everybody says and people agree with it and say that and don't even know, like don't even, don't even right. know what they're saying. They just repeat what they've been taught and what they think is right. Like what do you, how do you feel? Honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't think that's right. And they all, like I said, they love saying, well, if the right man come along, what's the right, right. Like, what are you going to do if that man leaves you? Right. He going to leave you. Then you're going to be, then you're going to know what do you or lead you to, to the wrong situation and lead you into the ground. Like, that's just yeah. That I don't know. Don't make I just sense can't to me. right though. I just cannot put my existence and my and my power into somebody else's hand. And but as a, a as a man, I could see the power trip of like keeping that going. Because yes. if you're a smart, intelligent man mm -hmm. and you feel you got a smart, intelligent woman, it's like you would want to be a team. But I get it on if you can find a girl. You know what I'm saying? Because then it's, it's basically. That's modern day slavery right. or whatever, you know, or whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. to where they submit to you. Like that basically you can kind of manipulate and get and do things however you want mm. and just make it work for you mm -hmm. or whatever. But it goes back. Like I said, I, I keep going back to that old podcast because it's the same thing. If yeah, those women saying that, are you fully reliant financially on that man? Mm -hmm. Everything you're reliant on him. Then I guess not. I don't even want to call it submissive or not. At the end of the day, it's just like, well, that's what you set yourself up for. Mm -hmm. Like he does have to say so. Because mm -hmm. if I'm taking care of fully everything always, and there's no compromise, and, and you're not helping at all, I feel like yeah, you you can say something, but what the last I have to say the last say. Like if I'm really doing everything, so in no situation if that works for y'all, it goes back. I guess. And if it works, be submissive. But I wouldn't recommend. No, not at all. Because what? Because when you when you have that much power over somebody, y'all think that the people think that when you get married and when you submit that you're secured and you're safe. Like no, these men can sneak behind your back and do a whole write a whole will and don't even gotta include you in it. Right. At all. But you let him lead you. Lead you to what? You can't, I don't ever want to be, have a mindset to think that I'm weaker than someone and to give someone that power over me to, like, exactly. what? Exactly, because it becomes Especially a if power I'm capable trip. Of, yeah, like, you, it yeah. definitely becomes a power trip. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I could understand, like, whatever, but I would never want to do that. In our relationship, I never, like, ever wanted to do that. Because mm -hmm. we both had to learn and grow, like, we've grown a lot. We've been together a long time, so... When we first met, who you were and who I was, but I was never that type of person. But I can't say that you, you had more of the traditional ways. I, when like we you, first you, got together you, that's 12 what I'm years ago, like I you, definitely would have had that mindset of him to lead me. Yeah. Definitely. I definitely would have been that type of person. But I would, it would have felt weird like to, mm -hmm. to be, like I said, because I'm not that type of person where it's like, oh, I want full control. Like Life is so much easier mm -hmm. when it takes some of the pressure off of me where it's like, Hey, we can just have a conversation. I can already kind of know how I want to do something and what I want to do. And I lay it out there. 
and give you opportunity to add to it, rebuttal, like come up with your own solution, other, and then it just makes for a better it does. solution it on does. anything, on any problem. Even mm-hmm. if you, you know, you're set in stone to like, hey, this is how I want to do it. This is what I'm going to do. Because sometimes people bug and it's just like, hey, this is what it's going to be. But just being open minded, not being like, oh, I don't even want to hear. Don't even question me. You're the woman. Don't even. Right. You, you're not allowed to come to the table with mm. any advice or what. It, like, yeah, you're you're not a smart person if you say that. Oh, you don't need somebody else. It's like, no, two heads are better than one. And then, in any situation, I want to speak about this right here that you're saying that, that you're not allowed. Like, I feel like it's two type of men that lead or whatever. Mm-hmm. The one with the ego trip, the power, and the one who's pushed, who's forced into that situation, who's taught that. Right. Because some, because we saw somebody the other day in the store getting into it. It, it was a couple, and I'm like, dang. That's why right. I say it's two different types. You got the ones who want their ego stroke. Yeah, I'm the man. You can't do this. You can't do this. And you right. got some like, oh shoot, I gotta, I gotta, um, I, my my um life falls. I gotta, I'm responsible for this human being, this grown up human being right here, and myself. Oh, right, right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's a lot of yeah, stress. More, yeah, that's true too. Mm-hmm. Because they feel, right, they'll feel like they're not a man. Mm-hmm. And I know like a lot of people, like for me saying that, oh, whatever, you can't you can't be no man. That's why people say that she's leading you because it's the conversation that we're having. And I'm secure. I know who I exactly. am. Like, oh, okay, I'm not a real man. Cool. I'll be that. If that's a real man, I don't want to be exactly. that. Exactly. And they I'll be who it I am. To make you feel I'm weak. whatever y'all think mm-hmm. it is. Put a title on it. I don't care. Cause it works for us, mm-hmm. and I feel like there's so many reasons why. That, yeah, you should really just think about it. Cause basically, all the women, any like woman out there that it agrees, like that, no, that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. Then you're basically saying you're less than that man. Mm-hmm. You're not as smart as that man. Why would you need somebody to lead you? Like, because that's what you were taught. That's what is put out there. Like, have some common sense for yourself. Like, so anybody that says that just know that that you're ba- by saying that you're saying you're less than exactly i feel like a lot of women do dumb themselves that dumb themselves down to when it comes to being in a relationship a submissive relationship i feel like a while a lot of women i mean get rid, i mean they don't tap into their true power because they're they, they have to submit and be right. in, and act like they're less than when they're way yeah. more co- capable of yeah. more. You you don't know what else you could bring to the relationship, but you can't bring it to the relationship because you just want to submit by what you were taught. I feel like the healthiest relationships are the ones that break away from the traditions, being traditional. Right. Because traditional mindsets are not your mindsets. That was what was, ta- what was taught to you. Yeah. So or you- just think about like... um power couples like everybody wants to be a power couple right well how can you be if it's not it can't you can't be a power couple, couple. if it's one-sided exactly like there's none of that so when y'all out of light like you see two people doing their thing trust and believe that the stuff that y'all don't see behind door closed doors mm-hmm. that's two great minds thinking mm-hmm. and discussing things and doing certain things and every relationship is different so there might be like i said with, with us we throw put everything out there Mm -hmm. there's no we're not over nothing but if that works for y'all then you know y'all could be together and y'all discuss everything and maybe y'all both decide like hey i'll let you take this load i'll take this load and y'all split you know everything it's however y'all want to do it there's no wrong or right way really to do it unless you're fully like she was saying bowing down and submitting because now you're not tapping into your full potential like she was saying Mm -hmm. so and you could be smarter than that man. At the end of the day, when two people get together, yes, somebody can be, you know, or in certain fields or certain things, like, no, have more knowledge or whatever. But, and then now you kind of dumb yourself down and you get used to that and you become that. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. you never tap into your full potential. Mm-hmm. And it, it's like, yeah, it's just, it doesn't make no sense to me. So, right. Because, baby. It might be cute and fun at the beginning, but at the end of the day, years and years go by, he going to get tired of taking care of you. He going to get tired of leading you. He going to get tired of that, and he going to be looking at the secretary or somebody who um, got some coins, who got power, and who can stand up. Yeah, because that's going to look attractive. A, mm-hmm. a woman that 
is bossy and kind of holds her own. Cause that like that's what I always like think about is where do these things come from? I know they get passed down, but like where does it start? And then I guess in that situation, like just genetically, yes, men were just naturally physically a little stronger. Not always, but mm-hmm. majority of the time, a man it's you're going to be stronger than your woman or whatever, mm-hmm. whoever your you know your life partner is or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's the only thing I can think of. But uh, there's probably a lot of cases where the female is actually more intelligent and mm-hmm. more uh, you know and better in a lot of other ways versus just physically stronger. Like, is that where it comes from? Like, I don't get it. Because at the end of the day, like. If y'all have kids, she's the one that carries nine months, mm-hmm. carries that child, and has the actual birth. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's just so many things. It's like a woman is a, above a man in to where it's just like, where did that come from? Like, is that that's the only thing I can think of? Is like the power, the strength, the physical strength, and then so that just determined like, oh okay, well they should just be over everything when it comes to just knowledge and what's the right thing to do. I don't, or maybe I guess that to them having to be, they're the provider because they're the breadwinner. That was the old days. Yeah. This isn't now. Right. So back then, like I said, if the man is doing all that, it doesn't, there's no discussion about it. It's like, that's their money. That is their say. So they get the last say. So right. it just worked, but it don't work like that no more. Like everybody's equal now. Mm-hmm. Women are in the work field. Mm-hmm. This isn't back in the day where right. now so if you choose to do that, then okay, that works for you. Be submissive. And that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why it's that it's so hard to grasp that. Okay. Time has, times has changed. Okay. Women, a lot of women weren't working back in the day. So they had to submit, but now, like you said, women are in the workforce. So why are women still submitting if you are in the workforce too? Why are you in the kitchen cooking right. if you in the work workforce too? How why is you in Got the kitchen? Why up. are you cleaning, cook, washing the dishes, but cooking and do doing it. all that after you get out of work? And Both of y'all just got out of work. He get to kick his foot up, but you gotta come home, cook, clean, right. do the dishes, do the laundry, change the baby diaper, feed the baby diaper. But he but because he's the man. You you gotta you 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 tired just like him. Why both of y'all can't be in the kitchen? Yeah, both of y'all in the field. Yeah, that's that takes a whole nother breed because mm-hmm. I there's no way that I could do that. There's <laughs> you, could, no could, way. Could you because come home look, and I wasn't working? If I'm not working, I'm at home. Could you come okay, home? You're and I'm, I'm coming. You you're come, talking about that, okay? Our situation. I'm le- you're leading me. Right. I'm submitting to you, and I don't okay, work. Okay. And I just worked all day, and I come home. So I don't feel like cooking. So what? No, I mean, in that situation, I would feel like, I don't know, me personally, I don't know, because I enjoy cooking, whatever, but I would understand someone feeling like, yeah, that that is your job. You right. Everybody's got to work. What are you going to do? What are you, you got to do something. Exactly. And that, but I'm just saying now, like, with, to go back to what you were saying, now, oh. we're, we're both working. Right. And that's what I'm saying. I'm just putting myself in a woman's shoes mm-hmm. if, if just because they were taught, so they feel like that definitely blows my mind. Like, I don't <laughs> understand that at all, how they would do. But there's so many women that do that. Yes. That work just around the same hour, whatever. Got a full-time job just like the man does. But then comes home and like, oh, no, that's the woman's job. So that's what you do automatically. Like, no. I understand, like, if you don't work, because it could be the man, like, whatever. Maybe the, the you know, the wife has a good, great job, and, and the man, husband loses his job. So, okay, well, I got my good job. You lost your job. We can't afford daycare now. You got to stay home. The husband has to stay home and, you know, do what's typically. And if that works, that's fine. Right. But it would be the same thing. If she comes home from work, it isn't, oh, you going to cook dinner for the kids and me. Like, no, the husband should already have dinner done. The kids' homework done. Like, what, you know, that's how I look at it, like. Baby. The gender role, that, that's what all that needs to just be out the window. Gender like, roles is tragic. All, yeah, Oof. that's what messes up so many things. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, I feel like a lot of people can be in good relationships if they just get rid of traditions and gender roles. I feel like gender roles and traditions hurt relationships more than they help 
because yeah. all this being submissive and all this, the man got to pay all the bills. That's too much stress on the man, and that's too much stress on the woman. I'm just saying, it's just too much unnecessary stress. But both of y'all can just come together, and y'all ain't got to. You ain't got to submit to him. You ain't got to submit to him. y'all. Just respect each other equally, and get rid of the traditions and what you were taught. And the generals, y'all will be yeah. good. But the generals get in the kitchen, the girl. Pay them be all the bills, man. She's yeah. not supposed to pay bills. So and yeah, it's just I don't know. Yeah, even think with us, like we came from the bottom, mm-hmm. but we grew together. Mm-hmm. And I can only imagine if you were expecting me to, you know what I'm saying, on our boat or on, you know, on our come up and us trying to do and chase our dreams and doing what we were doing. I could only imagine if it was like, oh, you're saving your money and oh, he needs he's the man, so he needs to take care of all this stuff and do all this and do that. Like, nah. We could have had some real rough times. Like we might not have lasted. As much as we love each other and we know like the term soulmates and we're like we just everything's perfect. Now I had one foot in the tradition door and one foot out when we got together. But that one foot in of the tradition door was stupid like i would be okay cool it's like i was 50 50 with being traditional 50 but until i just 100 percent let it go because sometimes i would get mad that he wouldn't like he the man he's supposed to take me out on a date he the man he's supposed to take me out to eat he the man he the man the man not knowing he was going through what he was going through that's why i was saying i had one foot in the door and one foot out but now i'm just completely out it's like 50 50 whatever you do you can do whatever i can do i can do it's like i don't look at him i didn't i but don't you, side out of him because he's the man like i did at the beginning it was 12 years ago so my mind has changed since then right but you did at least at that time you put yourself and it was like hold on i can't even take myself out to eat mm-hmm. and you would say that like yeah a lot of women they're not even gonna think like that at all they're like i'm not supposed to i'm a woman right so yeah, the women, like I said, all the women that, yeah, whatever. I'm sorry, y'all are lazy, or I don't. I, but or, I, I don't not even lazy. I'm life not is say, hard and expensive, so they want the easy route. That's right. what they was taught. But they it like ain't. That, but that, so they want the easy route. But they I can't say that. So I, I take that all back. You're not lazy, and that's not the easy route. Because at the end of the day, that's a full time job in itself. Mm-hmm. Being submissive. Mm-hmm. And got to cater and be there for, like, whatever. Like, nah. That's uh-uh. definitely a full-time job. I would almost, like I said, I'd rather go work my 40 hours and come <laughs> right. pick my feet up. <laughs> exactly. And then be able to say, make all the, like, hey, demands and this is what go. Like, if I had to pick and choose. So, technically, that's actually, you're putting yourself in a worse situation. Wouldn't it feel better to be able to come and sit at the table as an equal? Exactly. Instead of being in a... You got to bite your tongue in relationship because if you submitting, you got to bite your tongue a lot of times in relationships. And the one thing about me, I'm not about to bite my tongue. That's why I can never be, I can never be submissive and I can never let a man leave me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have equal respect for each other because I'm not biting my tongue. That is meant to like yeah. built up now, stuff, like, built up stuff. Respect. Inside. Exactly. You just said it right there. Respect. respect. Got to have respect for each other because all that built up and, sadness, built up hurt inside of you that you can't say you can't express i mean you can express but most of the time because you complain what are you complaining about you ain't working you ain't you submitting you like what 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 are you complaining about so that's not good to buy i have to have, i don't want to be in no tongue relationship where i gotta bite my tongue and if you submitting that means you bowing down so what you doing buy your tongue mm-hmm. in most situations and i'm not doing it and you bowing down the man could actually be a good person mm-hmm. but it's just inevitable almost that they're going to lose some type of respect Mm -hmm. but when you come together as an equal and you bring something more because i'm sorry you could say all day well i take care of the kids i clean he i'll take care of home as they say Mm -hmm. so everything that comes underneath that but that still just is not going to be the same as you bringing more to the table and coming sitting as an equal at the table there's going to be a lot more respect because that man like at the end of the day at the time, if he's at work, he's not seeing everything that you're doing there. So now that's out the window. Out the window. But if you come as an equal, okay, we don't have to see everything. We just know. If I know that, hey, I busted my butt all whatever. Okay, boom. I know you did the same. Mm-hmm. And and now here's a problem. And I know that I'm not just coming like 
it yeah, it's just so much better, really, because it just takes so much pressure off of both parties. You're equal now, so when something happens, so I can see that too. As a female, that when troubles do come to where, yeah, you don't feel no pressure, you just keep doing your thing, and then it's on the man to have to deal with those problems. It's like, oh, you're the man, you're leading me, you take care of that. And Versus it would be so much better as, just as a together. unit coming together. Yeah, so it's not all on, like when there's an issue with us, I just feel so much better. I don't feel like I'm going through it by myself. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, small or big or whatever the issue is, it just feels so much better knowing like, hey, I can discuss this with. Then we don't have to hide nothing either. Mm-hmm. There's nothing because if I if you're full, I don't have to tell you everything. So I'm sure there's times where you might not even as a woman know the finances. Right. You might not even know that y'all are about to lose your house or you know, mm-hmm. I, I guarantee you there's what about those situations right. where you just think life is good. And then now y'all are fighting because you want to go shopping and he don't want to tell you everything because he's the one that has to handle it. So he don't feel like, hey, I got to break everything down to you. All he says is, oh, we can't. You know how you normally go weekly shopping? Yeah, you can't go to the mall this week. And then doesn't tell you too much. or And now you're fighting and it's a big ordeal versus you would know that if y'all are the equals, y'all going to know everything. We tell each other everything. Mm-hmm. Like there's nothing that is hidden none of that so i think that even just it opens up when y'all are equal everything opens up the conversations there's nothing that's you know what i'm saying yeah exactly what i understand completely because the, yeah. y'all be like that like i what like what you were saying about the um they don't know if they about to lose the house and none of yeah. stuff. like it's so many and people think that they so secure because they're the wife do y'all not know these men can do be going talking to lawyers, d- drawing up all type of paperwork to have you not have access to nothing? I know one man who wife couldn't have access to nothing and left everything to his side chick when he passed away. Right. I know a man who passed away who Imagine left everything that. to his daughter and wife couldn't touch nothing. The house, the bank account, nothing. Everything was left to his daughter. So, Yeah. What y'all going to do when these kids grow up that y'all, okay, y'all say y'all at home taking care of the kids. Okay, bam. Kid turn 18. What are you going to do then? You've been too, you've been cement for eight years, 18 years, and now look at you. And it ain't even a shame, y'all. It's just to be bring awareness, like, because you don't want to, yeah. you are responsible for yourself at the end of the day. Because what if he get on drugs real bad and bad and lose everything and end up dying or going to jail? Yeah. And you ain't, he ain't got no, a penny in his bank account. And what you gonna do? Now you gotta lose the house. It's just a lot. Take it, stop. Um, don't lead yourself and have respect for each other in relationship. That's the best way to be. It's the best way to equal, equal respect for each other. Yeah. I agree 130% that that's the best. But there'll still be people. This, right. gave all these, it's like we trying to help it, y'all out. Right. Trying to open your mind and show you your power. How yeah. y'all be getting offended by that is what I don't be understanding. Because they just be stuck, like I said. Oh, that's no, that's what it is. That we're wrong because we're going against it. And that's fine. It is like, hey. <laughs> and they be like, my grandma and granddad stayed together for 80 years. Yeah, your grandma probably wanted to leave, but she couldn't. Right. She couldn't afford to leave. Where she was going to go? She yeah, been what's submitting- the rest of that story? Were they fully happy you just saying that? Right. She's been submitting all her life. Your grandma been wanting to leave your granddad, but she couldn't. She couldn't afford to. Don't be like your grandma. Right. I'm not. They might take that to the grave, the horrible life that they had mm-hmm. as far as who knows. And I'm not saying like whatever. Okay. One, in, you know, one in a million. It works. Mm-hmm. If for both parties, if it genuinely worked for them. Okay, that's cool. We're all we're we're just throwing out other options and giving you plenty reasons why that that's probably a better option. But if the other way works, okay, it works. So we're not. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Then be that. Do that. Maybe it had like whatever. But I hear and see so many cases where no, that that formula doesn't work. It mm-hmm. doesn't always. That's not the go to. The be all where it's just like, yeah, you if you do that, that's perfect. Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Exactly. Because it can be perfect. 
but like she said, it's perfect. You submit to him. He doesn't she, like y'all love each other to death and it she takes care of the home. He goes and works and that dynamic fully works. But then he turns around, boom, and is not here no more. Mm -hmm. Then what? Right. Now you're stuck. You're, you're trying, you know, you you never put yourself in that situation to take care of that stuff. You don't know finances. Mm -hmm. You never had a real full time job. Mm -hmm. You know, like and now at a later age in your life, you're trying to figure all these things out. And it's going to be that much harder mm -hmm. versus just biting a bullet at an earlier age mm -hmm. and being like, you know what? I'm always going to be independent. And when I get with somebody, we're going to be a team. team. Mm -hmm. So that way, if he ever leaves me, if he ever passes before me, um, you know, whatever the case is, or maybe it's you, maybe you decide I want, maybe he loves you to death or whatever, but you just find out like, Hey, this isn't the person for me. Mm hmm then you're trapped. Mm -hmm. But if not, if you're independent, you can go to that person and just say, Hey, I want, you know, this isn't working. I love you or whatever, but I, we just, we're not clicking. I don't want to be married no more. And you have that capability. But if you're submissive and what, like, no, now you're in a relationship you didn't really fully want to be in. So it can't hurt to be now. If you're independent and you still want to be submissive, I would say go to a doctor, or a psychiatrist or something. Right. No, I don't know. I mean, yeah. if you're independent and that's just what you were taught and you want to do that and you genuinely like it and it, it's cool for you, then hey, do it. Do you. <laughs> Some people just get used to biting their tongue and just being, I used to be so insecure. When I was in, when I, um, I don't feel like I submit, I don't feel like it was submitting, but it was low key submissive when i was going through my little shebang bang in our relationship when i was like confused lost broke didn't know what but he was paying all the bills and when he wanted stuff from me it's like i just felt so insecure and just self-conscious i just didn't feel good about myself that i had to submit yeah, but just you felt were, so yeah because but you were doing it because you wanted to feel like hey i'm bringing something, something to, to the table to yeah exactly it ain't like he asked i he wasn't didn't even know, i wasn't all right he didn't even know i was having these thoughts it was just me just like i'm just not i just i'm just i've been with my own money just been leading myself since i was 16 i've always just been that person to just have hers and right. to just not be able to it just felt so and to be able to just had to bow down not even bow down just like okay baby you'll fix me a smooth i'm like boy i just made you some 30 minutes ago what you mean but i ain't say that i just be like okay right. okay it's just yeah, I can't. Yeah, so you it. got a little taste of it. Yeah, a little table. Without dog. even, like I said, me nowhere near demanding or right. whatever, I would just ask. I can't. And like now, mm. I ask, and if she wants to do it, she'll do it. And if she doesn't, she'll be quick to tell me, "Hey, I'm tired right now. You got to go make it yourself." And then I don't say, "I understand." I'm like, "Oh, okay," and vice versa. It's just, it is what it is. Because I be seeing when we post videos of you bringing me food and cooking for me people be like i wish my man could cook my man never brings me nothing yeah probably because he's working all the time and you get, the house. Right. <laughs> get out of the kitchen he'll cook for you what oh you right. can't get out of the kitchen because he ain't paying no bill oh, okay and if y'all both are working and you're submissive he ain't ever gonna cook for you mm -mm. who would do he's yes he's very smart well, like he gets to be lazy after work you gotta cook after work That's you're no submissive right. be submissive if that's what you pick and chose to do, don't say, oh, no, this is a woman's job. And then when you get tired of it or you wished it, they're not going to do it. Like with us, we just had that dynamic. We're 50, like whatever. We we fend for ourselves majority of the time. And then at the same time, she does a lot of stuff for me. I do a lot for her. So whatever she does, she gets it in return and vice versa respect for but each other's if you're dynamic. not at that level yeah you're not going to get that in return mm -mm. you're just going to get i expect you to go cook and clean because that's a woman's job i know you just did 40 hours like me but go do the woman's job and i'm going to sit here and watch sports while you go cook for me <laughs> that's not a bad gig though i don't know i might have to rethink this 
I'm just saying. If I get me a simp, yeah, I'll let him That's what I'm saying. I, you get you a If simp, I go get me a real woman, they're going to be submissive. If I go get me a simp, he'll pay all my bills. A real woman is going to be submissive. And a simp going to pay all these bills. So. But I ain't shutting up. I ain't no shut up chick. I ain't bite my tongue, so I'll pay my bills. I'm sorry. And I ain't submitting. So, that's how that goes. I'll pay my part on the bills to have say. So, if I got to pay for the it's, it, 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 What's it cost? What what they say? What? It pays the boss to you gotta pay the pay cost. cost to you gotta the pay boss. the cost to be the boss. I pay the cost to be the boss because I ain't submitting. I ain't bound down and I ain't let nobody lead me. I can lead myself. I'm very smart and intelligent. I can lead myself, okay? You smart and they you smart and intelligent too. Lead yourself. If a man don't want you to lead yourself, girl, he got he wants you to he want he want that power trip. And yeah, stay away from those men with that power ego trip. Yeah, because they're going to talk you into, oh, this yeah. is how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And then what are you going to say? You're just going to agree with them? Like, oh, okay, yeah, that's what everybody in the past used to do. And that's what still today everybody's still saying to do. But sometimes you got to just think outside the box, think for yourself. Facts. So on that note, <laughs> go out there and be submissive. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. But yeah, or so don't be like Shonda. Who wants to be like Shonda boss. when she grows up? Yeah, I but hold it, the boss of you. Be the boss of you. Be, make that clear. You don't pay. Yeah, <laughs> that cost to be your boss. Because mm. I pay the cost to be my boss. Exactly. So let let us know y'all thoughts on this episode. And just be some bosses. Tell the truth. Tell the truth in the comments. How do y'all really feel? I want to know how they feel. But what are they? What the comments gonna say? I like submitting. If the right man come along, they go. <laughs> right. We've we been to say it all. They still gonna be like, if the right man come along, submit. What's the right man? What? Yeah. Why stop thinking somebody smarter than you? If the right man come along, you will submit. Stop thinking everybody. I'm a man is smarter than you. Okay, y'all can be equally smart. You could be good at certain stuff, and he could be good exactly. at certain stuff. Right. What's so hard but about that? No, what yeah, is so exactly. hard about that? Hmm. Well, y'all let us know y'all thoughts. <sighs> That's it for today. Let us know. Let us know. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. And don't and, forget to subscribe. And to like, like comment. Yeah. Definitely comment and let us know your opinions and y'all's views on this topic. And if you can, share the video too. Share it to a friend, tag somebody, and and get their opinion. Get them in the conversation. Mm-hmm. But we appreciate everyone that hopefully is subscribed. If not, go subscribe, like she said. Like, comment, hit the bell notification because that, that's a new thing, isn't it? So right, hit get, the bell notification. Yeah, yeah, you might subscribe and still don't get the notification. Right, so, so hit the bell notification right, too. So you y'all. definitely gonna get every time we got yep. a new upload mm-hmm. for you. You're gonna be tuned in, and we appreciate all the support. And this is. Drink water. Eat fruit podcast. Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all.